What's going on, guys? I am Jada Black. Shout out to everybody for tuning in to another one of these broadcasts. Salute to everybody who's been subscribing, liking the video, sharing them. This channel is growing and growing, so I appreciate everybody for, you know, helping it grow. Uh, we're gonna talk about Antonio Brown saying that he is done with <laughs> he's done with the Beckys. <laughs> you know, you know, Antonio Brown has been all over the place ever since basically the summer with his well we can go back to when he was with pittsburgh and then being traded from pittsburgh to the oakland raiders then it was very apparent he didn't want to play there he ended up going to the patriots that didn't work out because of allegations that came out against him i think the raiders dodged one it looks like pittsburgh has definitely have better locker room uh chemistry now that he isn't there but apparently antonio brown has had yet another Twitter ranting, and it has to do with his longtime girlfriend, baby mother, a woman he will never marry. I think her name is Chelsea, okay? He's been dealing with her for a while, okay? But he took the social media to blast her in a series of tweets, okay? In, a series, in one of the tweets, he says, no more white women in 2020. Now, I don't know what's going on between them. Apparently, they're kind of going back and forth. She's saying things. He's saying things. I believe he has alleged that he caught her talking to other dudes. She's saying that that's something that happened in 2012. I don't think that he's going to mistake messages from 2012 uh, to 2019. I think that. Well, when what females got to understand is if a dude catches you messing around on him, it is good. He is going to take it harder because, again, Tony O'Brien has done his own thing. Uh, but for the most part, she's never broken up with him because he was messing around, even though we know Antonio Brown does what he does. Now, analyzing Antonio Brown, he's a guy who you can tell is not used to adversity. Even though he was a bit of an underdog, he was under-recruited, went to a smaller school. Um, you can tell by who he is now that money and fame has definitely changed him. It has made him the person who he is today, you know? And as much as I would like to see Antonio Brown back on the field playing football, he needs to get his priorities in order. And... If staying away from Caucasian women is going to do that, then do that. But I don't think that's going to uh, happen. And the thing is this, when Antonio Brown analyzing what is going on, okay, analyzing what is being said, it's clear to me that Antonio Brown has a lot of enablers around him. He has a lot of people that really don't care about him. They're going to let him say whatever because he has the money. This guy posted a screenshot of his bank account. He's a that, that's a guy who you can tell is around a lot of enablers and they're around him because of the money that he still has. Now, will he get another opportunity in the NFL? He may. I believe he will, to be honest with you. Um, I think this situation is going to play itself out. Either he pays this particular woman making these allegations off or he's going to be able to stall or prove that her allegations aren't true. OK, but I want to get into this article from clutch points and said antonio brown's ex-girlfriend uh goes back at him with his hidden truth now she's claiming she has receipts on him um do i believe she probably has info on him? yes because what antonio brown and other dudes have to understand is that women will build a file on you it could be your girlfriend it could be your wife it doesn't matter she's gonna build a file on you to use against you all the women you done messed around with all the secrets that you have trust and believe she's gonna use it against you and i have no doubt that is what's going to happen in this particular situation so the antonio brown saga is a never is never ending before the police came knocking at his door which he filmed on an instagram story there was a twitter there was twitter drama and a cycle of ab drama that fuels the internet on friday brown's ex-girlfriend birth mother to his child uh chelsea chris took to Instagram to threaten to expose Brown. Uh, now she said, oh, these are the games we want to play. I have pictures to end your entire 
uh, existence or life. Keep taking messages out of an old phone from 2012 trying to play the victim. If only the world knew the truth about you. I'm tired of keeping my mouth shut. Well, you were okay with keeping your mouth shut when you were getting the benefits of him. You know, now there's a stereotype with a lot of melanated brothers who make it into the pros that they go on to get non-melanated women which in some cases is true i think back in the day it was very true i think nowadays it's not you got a lot of these guys that are getting with you know um mixed females and might be getting with latinas but for the most part they're not necessarily getting with beckys unless they've been with that becky since high school or maybe even college because you got some of these colleges where it's mostly just caucasian females ain't a lot of sisters there and that's who these brothers tend to date when they get out of the college scene okay now it says before the messages chris um say from chris antonio brown posted on twitter a slew of messages that he has since deleted claiming that she tried to get an unknown man to get her uh 25 000. he also said on instagram story new track called mud shark coming soon <laughs> stay tuned <laughs> oh my god man listen man let me tell you guys something man never date a woman because of how she looked and thinking that you know uh she's gonna be different because she's not like the females that you grew up around you know i made a video a couple years back called you know dear uh black men don't date you know caucasian women who only date brothers and you know why i made that video was because you do have these guys who tend to date these women thinking that they're going to be different but trust and believe if they date enough of you enough of you um they're gonna act just like the women that you're trying to avoid so no need to stereotype because you may think that you're getting away from a certain type of female and she's gonna be just like all the rest you know he says brown's message for his social media follow followers were capped off by a no more white women in 2020 <laughs> Brown is looking for a home in the NFL as the New England Patriots released him following allegations against him. His quest to find somewhere to play in the league has failed while the NFL is still looking into the matter. Meanwhile, Brown has not stayed quiet on Twitter, has become a social media icon for speaking his mind, apologizing to the NFL, begging the Patriots for, to bring him back, blaming the NFL, and getting into endless arguments. Now, to me, this just seemed like a guy who's going through something with his ex. Um, the fact that he caught his ex talking to another guy, I believe that. I believe that because a lot of these females, when these when they date these athletes, okay, when these athletes are on the road, when these athletes are gone six months, seven months out of the year, these women are living single. They're living their life. They're just better at you know not getting caught up. But trust and believe they will put these guys on blast for messing around on them because they're doing the same thing. If a female out of the blue starts talking about how you're dealing with different women and she's blank constantly getting on you about messing around and you know that you're not. It is because she has a guilty conscience and because she has a guilty conscience, she wants to deflect or project onto you the things that she's actually doing she's actually engaging in these behaviors but she wants to make it seem like she's not by pointing the finger at you that is what that is what goes on they will deflect not the fuck you saying deflect they will project onto you the things that they are doing because they want to feel guiltless. It's all about feeling guiltless, okay? Now the whole, I believe uh, the purpose of the, of the, his getting upset at her was that she was either trying to get money from him to send to, to another guy. Bro, if your girl is sending money to other dudes, he is definitely giving her dizzick. No woman is gonna be trying to get money to send to a guy if he ain't if, if he's not giving her dizzick he's giving her dizzick to the point to where he can ask her to get money now i could be wrong but the way the article was phrased 
She's trying to get money from Antonio Brown to uh, get get to this other guy. If I'm wrong, of course, y'all can tell me in the comment section. But if that's true, then trust and believe Antonio knows that his chick is getting, you know, she's getting that D from somebody else. Okay? Because we all know when a female is a dizigmatized, she's willing to do whatever it takes to keep that guy around. Unfortunately, that stuff goes on, man. And a lot of guys don't want to be with a female who's out here dealing with all these different dudes. These chicks giving money to these guys, basically doing whatever these guys want to do. That, But that's what goes on. These, these chicks be having side dudes. No matter how successful you are, no matter how rich you are, that doesn't mean that your wife or girlfriend won't mess around on you because she's going to be looking for something that you're not giving her. Yes, you're giving her a lifestyle, but there's something else that you're not giving her. So she's going to get it from someplace else, especially if she has free time on her hands. She has social media. Dudes are still hitting her up. Dudes are probably been cool with her for years and you didn't even know it. But I believe she might have slipped up this time because you see Antonio Brown is at home. See, she's used to Antonio Brown being on the road. She's used to Antonio Brown not being able to keep a closer eye on her. And so because he's at home more, he's able to keep an eye on her and she can't really be on the phone like she normally could or, you know, text and converse, uh, converse and meet up. Because trust and believe she's meeting up with other dudes. You know, she has that look about her. I, I would not... I would not be surprised if she has dealt with multiple guys while she was with Antonio Brown. You know, because let me tell you something. If a woman, no matter what, no matter what you do for her, there's if she's not getting something, she's going to find it somewhere else. Some guy is going to be able to get in her ear and he's going to be able to convince her that he can make all these different things happen. And then you're going to be left sitting there like, I can't believe she did that. And I think that's where Antonio Brown is. But they always tend to make up and get back together. So, you know, that may happen. 